I'm wondering if you have a bit of quilting cotton in your fabric collection. Maybe you've been a quilter before and you do have a lot of that lying around or maybe you have absolutely none but you've sort of always admired the prints and wondered how can I incorporate that type of fabric into my garment sewing. Well, that's what today is all about. Stay tuned. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from LiftingPinsAndNeedles.com. Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing, limitless sewing, and today is about quilting cotton. Maybe you have plenty of variety in your fabric collection and maybe some of you have absolutely none. I know my own stash of quilting cotton is dwindling. It's just very, very sad looking. A couple of years ago when I lived in Bolivia, I used to shop for fabric on the streets there would be vendors that would get packets of fabric from the United States in, I don't know, they were like off cuts, remnants, I don't know what they were, but sometimes I found quite large pieces and sometimes small pieces. So I did use quite a bit of quilting cotton back there to sew because it was a fabric that I could easily find. Whereas I couldn't find that much rayon and other fabrics I use more now because now I live in Brazil and I have other options. So. Yeah, my use of quilting fabric has sort of gone down over the years, although I'm trying to get myself motivated to use it again because it is such a lovely fabric and I know a lot of you would like to sew with it. So if I can inspire you in some way to use up your quilting cottons for garment sewing in a way, that's what I'm here to do today. If you watched my previous video where I took you on a trip with me to a humongous craft fair in Sao Paulo, Brazil, you know I went there hunting for quilting cotton. And at that type of event, I, there's so many vendors there, so much variety, different types of quality, really good place for me to find nice quilting cotton. If I go to any fabric shop locally around here, my variety is like that much. And it's more sort of juvenile prints or just the totally wrong types of florals and I've rarely ever found some nice cottons around here locally so I was really really hoping to go there and find some. I did bring some back with me for garment sewing and I brought a few fat quarters that are for other things. I'd love to just go over how quilting cotton can serve us in garment sewing and with any type of fabric you know that not all of them are the same. If you shop around you'll see a humongous difference in the price point and the quality. So there are some that don't feel so good you know the weave is sort of loose you can see them they're not finely woven and the price reflects that of course they will be more affordable than others that cost maybe double or triple that amount but where the quality is so much nicer so much softer and you know it's going to last a longer time as well as the print that's on there so have a think about that I think when you want to sew garments you know you're going to be washing and wearing them I think you should I think you should aim for a really nice quality quilting cotton rather than the cheaper ones my opinion I would really stay away from poly cotton blends for sure that fabric is not nice it doesn't feel nice it's really scratchy it's really stiff I really can't imagine anything looking really good in a poly cotton blend so 100% cotton is preferred you know it's natural it's breathable it's going to be really nice and comfortable to wear on the skin when you just purchase it it can be quite crisp quite stiff you do need to pre-wash this fabric so it can soften up a little and also there are things that you don't want to be on your skin and you also need this cotton to shrink because cotton is a fabric that will shrink so don't go ahead and sew a lovely dress and then wash it because then it's not going to fit so that is important with any fabric but with any natural fiber like cotton is I think that is super important there are some advantages of this type of fabric other than just sewing flat things like quilts if you are just starting out in sewing, I think a lot of you would like to start with this type of fabric if you're trying to sew your first woven projects. And it's because it's so easy to mark, you put your pattern pieces on top and the fabric is not going to be sliding around on your table. It's super easy to cut, it's easy to sew, it's easy to press. Anything that you want to press is going to be super nice and crisp, you know, you're not going to have a hard time pressing or doing anything with this fabric, it's just really easy to work with. Maybe you don't need as many pins as you would with other slippery fabrics. Now I wanted to touch on a topic and it's about the prints. Now I don't want to offend anyone, you know, whatever I say here is just my opinion, I'm just one person and as most of us we go through a journey of discovering the things that we like that we feel good in so whatever I say is just what my journey has been it's not that you have to take that as a type of rule or whatever I want things that are really really well made that look really nice you know that that is my goal 
And so sometimes some types of prints that you find in quilting cottons might clash with that type of ideal, at least for me. So for example, uh, novelty prints, you know, prints with animals or, you know, like a print with a bunch of high heels on them. But I'm saying this because I have seen some really interesting prints on these types of fabrics and it's not anything I'm ever drawn to. I wouldn't want to have a blouse with that type of print. So I think if you do go to the route of the novelty type of prints, your garments may really look like you've made them at home which is not a bad thing it's not a bad thing but it, it, you just might stand out a little bit from the crowd <laughs> and it's if that's what you want and it's part of your personality and that's what makes you feel good that is awesome I think we should all do what makes us happy so I try to look for prints that are similar to the ones I would find in rayon or linen so the types of prints I'm drawn to there is what I'm trying to find in the quilting cottons which can be a little bit harder <laughs> look around and you'll find things that are going to be pleasing to you to look at and that you'll be proud to wear so for example the other day at the craft fair I looked around, I could have looked even more, you know, but I was so overwhelmed with all the people and it's just the explosion of color, but I found this. So this is a really, really nice quilting cotton. It was about double the price of what others would cost. Super soft, you know, when I wash it, it's going to be even softer because it hasn't been washed. Cotton doesn't drape, so it's not a fabric that's going to have an amazing drape. But it does have some, it's not completely stiff. And I think this print is similar to the ones I would use without the other types of fabric. So I would just be careful about the placement of those flowers that they don't end up in my apex. But this is a type of quilting cotton I would be happy to wear. As we go through today's episode, I will be showing you garments I have made using cotton, quilting cottons, and you'll see the idea. I mean, at least my idea, my aesthetic, it might not match yours, but just be really careful with the prints. I'm just saying, it's like a, it's like a big thing. And that's why I probably don't use more quilting quilting cotton than I could, mainly because I have a harder time finding the prints that I think are pleasing for me. And now about the styles that would mesh well with these types of fabrics, I think this is where you have a bit of trial and error, personal experience, people watching, and then maybe someone like me that's going to give you some suggestions so you can try out and think a little bit. So I think this is the more practical bit that you're going to enjoy about this episode because I'm going to show you a lot of practical examples of items I've made, why I chose that type of fabric and why I think they work. If you are looking at a pattern, you always find types of fabrics recommended there by the designer. If you see that there's a pattern that mentions chambray, light denim, shirting, cotton lawn, cotton poplin, any types of cotton, you could sort of expand that into quilting cotton if you manage to find really nice quilting cotton that's nice and soft and good quality. But then you have to think about the properties of cotton and how this fabric behaves on the body. So just consider that cotton does not drape, it has quite a lot of body. It means that when you wear your garment, it's not going to cling to you, like really close to you. It's also going to stand away from you. It's not going to drape over your curves, which is, I think, the most important feature of this fabric when you're trying to pair it with a style of a pattern. As a general thing, before we start going into the types of garments, I would avoid anything boxy or that has too much volume because cotton is not flexible. As I said, it doesn't drape or flow over your body. So you do need the garments to fit really well. So if you're making something for your upper half, make sure you have bust studs that you are sewing the cup size that you need. If you need to do a full bust adjustment, do it. You know, just sizing up is not gonna do it. It's unforgiving. You're gonna have the folds. Any little fitting issue is gonna really show up with cotton. So I think fitting is a really important thing. So yeah, just, just make sure you have bust starts if you need them, that the pattern has them. If you need to do a full bust adjustment, do it. Keep the silhouette sort of basic. And we'll talk about more of that as we go along. Let's go over some styles, some features that you might find and some styles of garments. I think you can make shorts and pants. You know, if you want really comfortable ones, the ones that pull up with an elastic, just consider that cotton is a little bit bulky. And if you have an elastic in there, it might be a little uncomfortable. I know I started sewing pants and shorts with quilting cotton when I was 11. I was going through my puberty years and that is the type of fabric that my mom bought me and it was really easy to work with. And I made 
made my first garments using this type of fabric and I really enjoyed my pull-up pants and my pull-up shorts. I always kept them with a tapered type of silhouette. I didn't really want wide styles. Again, because this fabric tends to stay away from your body. So just keeping it closer to the body I thought was more pleasing. So another option is to find a style that has a flat front elasticated back. I think that is going to give you less bulk at the waist with a fabric that's not really flexible or malleable like that. So think about that. I've made the Pietra pants from Closet Core and I used a green leafy quilting cotton there. I made them capri length. I made them capri only because I didn't have much fabric left. <laughs> This was one of the little pieces I brought with me to Brazil from Bolivia. I mentioned before that in Bolivia I did purchase quite a bit of quilting cotton in the street markets. Really happy with the feet, the way they feel on the body. They're really nice and fresh to wear. Yes, when I sit and move and walk they do get creased over the day but who cares? That's what fabric does and I think that is a really good example of the type of print that I'm looking for that's sort of more neutral, that's just sort of in you know, one tone, different tones of green but it's just green basically. So I love those pants. I think they worked really well. Elasticated back flat front with a facing inside super nice the pockets hold their structure so I think that was a success for me I would make pajama pants out of quilting cotton if I had really nice beautiful prints that I think wouldn't be suitable to wear outside I would definitely wear those types of shorts that I pull up as lounge shorts for the house other types of garments I think are suitable for quilting cotton are skirts that are bright pencil skirts or a-lines because these are just simple styles you know you don't need the fabric to flow and drape and that is not a property of cotton so you can definitely make pencil skirts and a-line skirts out of cotton. I would keep them simple, you know, not elasticated, no bulk around the waist. I would do a waistband with a zipper and then I'd probably go the extra mile of lining them. I think it would just look and feel and sit better on the body. Always remember that this type of cotton is not a really heavy cotton so I wouldn't line a denim skirt but if I made one out of cotton I would definitely consider lining it. So I don't have any examples to show you at this point. All the ones I've made in the past have passed on but believe me they do work if you find nice prints you can really make a nice nice statement type of skirt and then wear a solid on top and you will be sweet you'll be comfortable and then following along that same sort of straight or a-line silhouette you can make a simple dress like a sheath style I made a green and black one in Bolivia as well I also don't have this dress anymore <laughs> and back then when I just started my channel and I was a baby youtuber I just used to take pictures of my makes and they weren't great they were taken with an iPhone 5 by my son and I didn't film myself so unfortunately I don't have footage of me wearing that but I remember it was a dress that I really enjoyed it was self-drafted with a sweetheart neckline just a simple fit sleeveless a little looser at the waist because I was planning to wear it with a belt and an a-line type of skirt also that dress was fully lined and I think the quilting cotton there worked really well. I found that print that was amazing that I really really enjoyed and I did enjoy this one for maybe three years. I even wore it to church with a blazer and heels and you can really dress up your quilting cotton. It just depends on the style that you make and for the structure of the neckline I think it worked really well. I had princess seams there that came from the shoulders here so it was a really good fit with the quilting cotton. Now another type of garment that you could use quilting cotton with is a type of garment I don't make or wear or not even with any type of fabric but that's just my own personal style <laughs> and that is a full circle skirt or a half circle skirt so because this sort of fabric stands away from the body it could be a really impactful look if you had a circle skirt made out of cotton it would just really balloon out if that's what you want you know you could use this type of fabric just make sure you think about the print that you have there when you sew a circle skirt some of the print ends up being sideways you know it ends up being distorted because it's a full circle so make sure that if you're using a print you find one that's non-directional or super busy or geometric or something that doesn't really matter how it ends up being on the fabric because you really see that with a circle skirt. You would also see that with a half circle skirt you could end up with sideway things so that is something to consider. Add a zipper, add a waistband, I think keep it, keep it simple up on the top. One variation I've done is sort of mix a straight skirt with a half circle flounce and I made a skirt like this for my mom a couple of years ago using cotton. Saw it once 
Nancy my stash and she loved that green colorway with a print right this so it's basically a pencil skirt and only at the back I drafted a half circle flounce it has enough body to look amazing at the back it doesn't stick out either because it's just the back and it's only a half circle flounce so I think you can incorporate flounces like that when they're only partial in smaller areas that's the way I get around doing it to fit my aesthetic I would love to have a skirt like that also if I did make a full circle or a half circle skirt with quitting cotton I would definitely line it with something lighter inside as well it's just gonna look so much better whenever you line a garment it just elevates the look instantly and even if it is a quilting cotton it's just gonna look so much nicer if it's lined it's gonna hang on the body so much better I think suitable types of garments for quilting cotton are shirts I make a little asterisk key as well as I mentioned before I try to stay away from boxy styles styles that are way too oversized that don't have any fitting features like that or else it's just gonna look really boxy and you're gonna have folds and pleats everywhere because we have a shape, you know, and cotton is sort of stiff. So we do need those fitting features there. And let me show you my Aria shirt I made in May. This is a cotton I found locally. It's sort of light to medium weight. As you can see, it has zero drape, doesn't drape at all. But I made the full bust option that has the bust out there and I feel it fits well here. And at the back you have a pleat that presses really well. It's got a curved hem. I didn't make it too long. I wear something fitted at the bottom to counteract with the ease of the shirt. That's the way I like to dress myself. And you know, sewing it is so enjoyable. You know, the cuff right here, setting the sleeves, doing the collar, it just, it's just so enjoyable. The button placket, you don't have to wrestle with the fabric. It's not sliding away from you. So a shirt, I think, is something that you could make and would work really well. I know the Melody Dolman from Love Notions is also a, one that's really, really good for quilting cotton. I know a lot of people have made it with that type of fabric. I've already shown you my new quilting cotton that I bought the other day, and I bought only one meter, and that is because I want to make a shirt with this. It will probably be sleeveless, just what I wear the most. It's really hot here, and I know I'm gonna enjoy the collar stand, the collar, maybe put a patch pocket somewhere, I don't know, I think I'm gonna really enjoy it and that's what I bought it for so definitely high up on my list are the shirts, I think quilting cotton can be really really compatible with that type of style and then you know any top can be a dress, <laughs> a shirt dress could also work and I have made a few in the past. There is a pattern I made a lot in 2017 called the outer shirt dress and that type of shirt dress had two views, one that is a more straighter fit like an A-line type of dress, no way seam it does have bust studs and I made quite a few of those with quilting cotton again I don't have any fitting clips I do have some photos so the bust that was fine that's part of the pattern but I did add some waist darts on the front and the back and I did add those just by pinning them onto myself with the dress on and I think it really improved the fit at least I felt better in a type of dress like that where the fabric was more structured hem is curved I think using bias tape to hem that curve turned out nicer and flatter than trying to fold it up you know remember cotton is a bit stiff so if you're trying to fold up a curve and sew it it's not gonna look really really nice one of the other versions in this dress had a waist seam and then a skirt with gathers. I also made a few of those and I think they turned out really nice with the quilting cotton. I don't think gathers would have looked nice with a fabric that's stiffer like that. So I did a pleat instead. You can always convert gathers to pleats and pleats to gathers. That is something you can do. The pleats were pressed beautifully. It just looked really nice and I really enjoyed wearing those while I had them. Don't have them anymore. Another dress that is similar to that in the fact that it doesn't have a full skirt is one I made in 2019. The corsage top and dress. <laughs> itch to stitch so it's really nice it's got a raglan style sleeve with a v neckline tiny bit of gathers here on the raglan sleeve and then the silhouette is sort of straight you give it some shaping with a belt you know the even the pattern has you make a sash if you want or you can use your own belt it's a design that doesn't need anything to drape you don't need anything flowing right there. And I really like that style. It turned out really well. I made one for my mum as well that matches the skirt with the flounce at the back in the same type of cotton material. And it turned out amazing. I think that style like that is really suited as well for a quilting cotton. I have some blazers to show you here because I've even made blazers with quilting cotton. Look at this cute one. This is, let me see, Simplicity. This is a pattern by Mimi G. It's quite simple and I use this really pretty quilting cotton in black and white. I gave myself a deeper hem here so I can fold this up like a little cuff right there. That's the feature I added on. I also added on lining, which is something I would always want to do with a blazer anyway. 
and even more so if it's a quilting cotton, I think it's just gonna lie so much better. The facing here has been interfaced and so has the front piece. And I really think that was necessary because it's got this type of notch right there. There is a side panel here with shaping, so it's not completely shapeless and boxy. And it just turned out so cute. I really should make this one again. I really like it. I just need to lengthen it a little bit. I think back then I was still thinking I could use things that were shorter until I realized it just makes me look a bit disproportionate because my waist is quite up there in my body. So I don't make jackets that are this short anymore. I make them a little bit longer, but it's still really pretty and I think it's a really good style to use quilting cotton with, though I'm sure it was not in the pattern recommendations, but I made it anyway and I think it worked really well. There's another simplicity pattern. It's another simplicity pattern. I I wrote the number wrong here, but I'll put it on the screen. And it's this one. This fabric is really stiff. I also did a deeper hem allowance for the sleeves so I can fold it up like that. I love doing that. And this one has so many features that are gonna work with a cotton. You know, this collar is gonna stand up nicely if you interface it. It's got facings that are interfaced. It's got princess seams for shaping. At the back, it's got a waist seam. At the center front, at the center back, there's a pleat right there. In the original pattern that was meant to be gathers and I don't think gathers would have looked nice with a fabric that's stiff, stiffer like that so I did a pleat instead. But I have pleats on the front as well. You can always convert gathers to pleats and pleats to gathers. That is something you can do. So it was really, really easy to sew. Everything was really easy to press. 100% cotton. I would say a bit more medium weight, so not as light as the white blazer. And I think those styles worked really well because especially this one has the nice fitting features. I didn't line that one because the fabric was a little bit heavier. And also with that one, I think the print suits me and I'll be happy to go out with that type of print as well. I've made a few tops with quilting cotton in the past as well that I've self-drafted from my own bodice block. Remember, well, maybe you don't know, <laughs> when I started my channel in 2017, I was doing a lot of self-drafting. You know, it is a skill that I have, which I don't show on the channel that much because no one watches that type of content. But back then I couldn't really purchase any patterns. So I was doing quite a lot of content with patterns that I made myself. And I had a bodice block with princess seams and I remember making a top that was so, so cute with straps right here. Princess seams originated from the shoulders, but because it was a bodice up to here, they started right there and then I had the strap. I did line that bodice, it had darts at the back and then at the waist, I added on a small half circle flounce. I think it looked really good, it fit really good, loved using it over a pencil skirt or jeans. And that was just a basic quilting cotton, a tiny little piece that I found once. And it had the right type of print and the right type of color that I thought, yeah, it's, it's totally my jam. I also found a lot of this green quilting cotton once and I made quite a few garments out of it. I even made one of my nieces a dress with it. Here you can see I made a really simple sleeveless top, but it wasn't that simple. It had princess seams front and back so that I could make sure that it was gonna fit properly. I wasn't gonna have a gaping neckline, that bust was gonna look good. You know, in the seams right here, I incorporated and took out the waist dart so it would come in at the waist and I wouldn't have excess fabric around my midsection and yeah it was a really really nice top that I really enjoyed wearing as well don't have it anymore I gave it to my mum <laughs> and with that same fabric I made an outer shirt dress I already showed it to you a little bit before when I just got here I still had some quilting cotton left and I had this little piece with purple tones I made a top that's a little boxier but it still had that bust dart that's really important for me and the only reason I made it a little boxier below is because it was a bit more cropped. So it was just a tad under my natural waist. But I did this really interesting hack at the back with this diamond cutout that was double and there was facings. And the construction process was quite involved. I made it all up myself. I really enjoyed that type of sewing. I used to do quite a lot of that in the past. But I, I, I suppose I stopped doing that because those types of videos got no views. <laughs> And you know, I'm trying to make videos that people want to watch and over time you see over and over that people just don't like watching that stuff, at least not from me. So that's why I've mainly focused on patterns and when I do hacks, I do hacks on patterns that are a little less involved than that one was, but I think the cotton there was perfect for it. That diamond shape at the back held up its structure so well and it was so easy to press and sew made that aspect easier because the construction was a bit involved, you know? That was a project that really enjoyed using quilting cotton. Now, one thing I have to mention is about the sleeves. Cotton is not a fabric that's really flexible. So if you choose a style that has a sleeve that's really slim fit, like close to you, 
you'll feel really uncomfortable, the armhole, the shoulder, it's just gonna be more uncomfortable than if you sew that same type of sleeve with a linen, for example, or with a rayon. So I'd say sleeveless is always a really nice way to go because you avoid the problem of having sleeves there. But if you really want sleeves, just look for a style that has a nice sleeve with ease. The Aria has a really nice amount of ease on the sleeve, so I don't need to worry about anything being uncomfortable. Also, if the pattern company drafts with a lot of ease around here on the sleeve cap, setting a sleeve in with cotton can be harder than with other fabrics, just because it doesn't have any flexibility as well. So for example, this one, this one was really easy. I mean, there's just a small amount of ease there that is really easy to set in. Over time, you sort of know what brands have a lot of ease around the sleeve cap. I find the big four do that a lot. Now, another thing about sleeves, it might be a positive or a negative. It just depends on what you want and what your style is. So if you have a style of garment that has gathers on the sleeve cap or pleats there, and it's a type of statement puff sleeve, then cotton's gonna work really well because it's really gonna stand out and they will be statement sleeves. In my case, when I sew sleeves like that, I tend to use rayon because I want those gathers and the pleats, but I want them to just lie sort of more subdued there next to my shoulder and next to my arm. I don't want the puff feature. So it just depends. If you don't want a puff sleeve, don't use cotton if you've got gathers here or a pleat. If you do want that, then quilting cotton is gonna work well because poof, you're gonna have poofy sleeves. Same as styles that are wide at the bottom, like bishop sleeves gathered into a cuff. You know, that could be really bulky and really poofy if you do that with cotton. In my personal sewing, I would never, I would always keep those types of features for fabrics that drape and flow, silk or crepe or rayon, you know, that. but that's just me. I'm just saying what could happen. One dress that I already showed you that had a perfect sleeve for cotton was the cosiche from Itch to Stitch. You know, I made a black one for myself and I made a green printed one for my mum. And that type of raglan sleeve with the gathers right here gives you all that flexibility around here to move your arm. So that worked really well and it had enough ease around the arm too. So just look for styles that have a nice comfortable sleeve and you'll be okay. Ones that have a really small sleeve, stay away from those. So then what happens if you just do not want to use quilting cotton for garments? That is fine. You don't have to. You might still have some that you don't know what to do with. That's where this cotton can be part of your garment that is not seen, but it's still gonna be practical. That's why I got all these fat quarters the other day. Now I'm really picky about the types of prints I want for garments. And I can be a little bit more flexible for when I want to use them for inner things that are not going to be seen. So I would not be caught anywhere in a plaid. I just do not. I've got maybe one or two items in my wardrobe that I made with plaid. It's just something I just do not like. Checks, plaids, buffalo, checks, whatever. Whatever is like that, I just don't like it. But I do like it here. And I got so many of them because these are going to be things that I'm going to use inside my garments. So I've got them in different colors that match the solid items that I have, either for denim or linen, and they can be so pretty. I had so much fun choosing them. I have only one floral, well actually two right there, and they are so pretty. So I'll show you some examples. I like using them as inner waistbands. So if my main fabric is a linen, you know, I can put cotton inside and save using up the linen for that. A curved waistband can take quite a bit of fabric. And if you're trying to use less fabric like I am, then it's going to work really well. You can use it for pocket bags inside like I have here. Yeah, I think it works really well for inner waistbands. Now, just make sure that the garment you're sewing your inner waistband to is for wovens. So if you're making stretch jeans, don't use a cotton inside the waistband because it's going to affect the stretch at the waist on the waistband and also on the part of the jeans that are sewn onto the waistband. So just keep your quilting cottons to use inside woven projects, not on anything that requires it to be stretch woven or a knee. These are the summer key pants from Love Notions and I have another pair of pants, the Glissando from Love Notions where I use the quilting cotton inside as well. Inner waistband and the pocket bags. It looks really nice. I get to use up this crazy lion animal print that I had <laughs> from Bolivia and yeah, it turned out really nice. Feels soft on the skin, less bulky than having everything out of the linen. And it meant that I could get a skirt and pants, you know, because 
I saved up so much fabric by using the cotton inside. Sometimes I use it for inner yoke. So if I'm making a jacket or a blouse, I would choose to make the inner layer out of cotton and that looks really nice, it's less bulky. Most importantly, it lets you personalize your garments and just have a pop of color in there that only you know that is there, that just makes you smile when you grab it out of your closet. That is super important for me. You know, I could just have this shirt be just a boring burgundy, but I see it and I see that lovely floral that matches and yeah, I just smile straight away. <laughs> Look at this sleeveless moss jacket from Helen's Closet. You can see the inner yoke there also has cotton. So it's nice, it's not going to be seen from the outside. It saved my linen. You can't see it from the outside and it just looks really cool. I've been talking about a cowboy print that I was really tired of using. This is that cotton. I got so much of this cotton in Bolivia and I've used it for pockets. I've used it for so many things. Other things I do with quilting cotton is make bias tape. When the garment is nice and heavy, like this Sienna Maker jacket from Closet Core, I bound all the edges of the facing there with this type of bias tape. This pattern has an internal pocket there where you can put valuables. I also use the same cotton in there, although I did interface it to give it a bit more structure. And I made yardage of this type of bias tape. I used it for so many things. It's finally over, like I'm so glad that fabric finished because I was so tired of it and now I have all these new ones to play around with. I hope this episode was helpful. I know I get so many questions on my videos when I, I show something. There's usually a question around, can I make this with quilting cotton? And you know, it's trial and error. I gave you a lot of tips here, a lot of recommendations and some examples, but then it's up to you to figure out what's gonna work and just experiment, just have fun with it. I know I have this one now. <laughs> I'm gonna try and find some more. I know now where to get this quality because this shop I bought it at the expo had a website and so I can go on the website and find some more prints that are like this with this quality so I'm really happy I found a source to get some nice ones. So expect to see a little bit more of cotton from my end. I know I've had it quite neglected and I, I tend to sew more rayon and linen and stuff but yeah cotton's nice, it's fresh, it's soft, it's breathable, it's a nice fabric. I think if you already have it in your collection I think you would have fun using it and I hope all the ideas here were helpful. That's all from me today. I will see you again very soon with another sewing video. Bye!